Hey, what is up guys? Today we're going to be doing a little bit of a different video. I'm just going to voice this over because I was in the body shop for uh, most of this video. But this is just going to be the uh, process on how I did this door right here and uh, what everything I did to get this massive dent from the uh, deer hitting the mirror and then putting just a pretty deep dent in the door. Uh, but first, uh, we were going to be taking a look at what I sanded it down to and what I was trying to pull. Uh, I was using this uh, puller right here, uh, it didn't work too, too well, but as you can see here, uh, we got it as best, as best as we could with grinding it. It's, it's, it's still a low spot, but that's perfectly fine because we'll actually end up body, body filling it. So, And then if we get to the next step, this is the first uh, coat of body filler. Uh, it's quite a lot of body filler, just wanted to cover up the whole entire thing, just mud it. And then this is uh, after the first, I think this might be the third time, I ended up putting a lot of layers of body filler on this. But yeah, we're just going to go ahead and sand that down again. We're just pretty much blocking it. And then this wasn't actually even the final one. I did one or two more. Uh, I used a uh, pinhole or a thin coat and then I went over one more time. But this is what pretty much what the basic or the end product of it uh, was. Uh, one mistake I did make is it's not really straight on that line right there, but uh, right as we get into this, we get into the primer. I put three coats of primer on this. Uh, I sanded it using, uh, I'm forgetting, 180 to first to block it. Then I went to around a 300 and then a 600 grit uh, after that to get it perfectly flat and smooth. And then once we get onto that, or once we're done with that, we get onto the uh, base coat. Uh, this is technically not what the base coat should look like. Uh, it, look, it should be more of a wet coat. I went really light with it, so I ended up going over it one more time to get more of a uh, wet coat look because there really wasn't enough paint uh, when I was spraying it. It should look more like the top right there is hit that gloss and the whole door should be looking like that, so I actually went along into that. And this is actually after clear coating it. This is the, I believe, the second uh, coat of clear coat and it turned out fantastic it was really shiny and really flat and i actually i think i did a pretty good job it was my first time first time painting all right guys this is what the door looks like when it's uh on the car uh the paint job turned out pretty well uh you can barely even tell that uh that huge dent even existed so yeah it's pretty glossy compared to the rest of the car i just hope uh, the pan the panels blend uh pretty well uh, then if we go over to the back side, I started working on the door module again. Uh, got it all back in. Actually, it was a lot easier to get in than it was to get out. Uh, we ended up having to just fill those rivets with screws. Uh, we went through the same with the speaker down there. Uh, right now, we're just kind of playing around with uh, the door because it closes, uh, but... Oh. It just, yeah, it's got like a lot of play in it. All we have left to do is just the, uh, basically the front end. Just the front bumper and the two headlights. The hood's on, wasn't too hard. Uh, we got the fender on, uh, probably the hardest part. Well, it was right down there. Uh, there's two bolts on the bottom. Uh, basically no way to get to them. You can really see the color difference now uh, between the new door and the old thunder uh blue and black obviously uh and then basically uh this is all good now here let me just move this jack out of the way opens up real nice and then the door modules in uh everything's connected up i haven't actually tested the electrical uh i kind of just hope i plugged it in right and then the only thing that really has to go on here is just uh the door panel back here and then the window and the window basically just clamps in right down there there's a bolt and you have to slide it down in there and that slit sits right there so yeah there you are everything lines up pretty nice 